Aha! So here we are again then, with the little remote control boat thingy. So last time we created this duct thing here, and uh, since then I've modified it somewhat. And before I modified it, I in fact, I did some more work to the engine because the original propeller was very mocked up and wasn't really that accurate. I didn't have this big old spacer behind it. Long story short, the propeller that I built this duct around was actually quite a lot further back than reality. So I have created a much more accurate propeller, uh, which is accurately positioned front to rear. And uh, I'll put the spinner on it, which meant that basically I needed then to increase the depth of the duct, which is great actually, because the deeper the duct, uh, yeah, I guess the better it works. Um, however, um, it did mean that it's now encroaching quite a bit on the carburetor. And if I need to adjust it, uh, well, that's going to be pretty tricky. So, yeah, things just get complicated. So I had to split this duct into two. Um, basically, this top part lifts off and it pushes down over these bosses here. And then we can put some R-clips or water, whatever to hold it in place. Uh, and that's pretty much all the changes I made to the duct. I've also made these cutouts here because, well, yeah, they don't need solid plastic here. And also it's going to be uh, quite handy for passing uh, the linkages through. So talking of linkages, uh, that's kind of the next thing to do. You might also notice that I've got some holes in the uh, deck here and in the hull uh, float. I have also put in finally the holes that mount uh, all of this stuff into the deck. You can just about see it there. We're going right through the top of the deck. So that's all located properly now. So this whole structure is correctly uh, mated, located and buttoned down. So then what I thought I would do next is to start working on a bit of steering. So if we have a look, uh, where am I? Mm. Yeah. So here is a rudder assembly. Basically, it's just another 3D printed part, which is going to screw to the back here through these holes. And it then has a flappy um, rudder thing on here, like so. Which, well, yeah, we can move. So it just pivots around this pivot here. The idea being, uh, because mm, if it had rudders on it all the time, it would be a bit of a pain, to be honest, for me. So I've designed it so essentially the only thing that holds this rudder on is the linkage and the linkage fits on the top here. It holds the rudder on, you take the linkage off and this basically can drop straight out. Um, so we can take the rudders off nice and easy. So there's a two of them, obviously, one on each side. <laughs> let's peel the top of the deck off. So let's get rid of that for a second. So in order to start creating all of the sort of remote control bits that are going to control both the rudders and the throttle, which as you can see I have built a much more suitable and accurate throttle arm, I needed to start inserting the uh, servos and the radio equipment. And I have done that with another, where are we, Bosch. So, zoom in. Um, basically this bit here is another 3D printed, oops, is another 3D printed plastic part. This holds the servos which currently are green so that they stand out. Um, and then I basically have some more 3D printed parts which are going to screw to the servo arms or servo horns. I'm using discs, completely circular, so I can screw down an adapter through here which then goes up through the top of the deck and allows us to put some arms on top with these square keys. And that is where, let's put that back on now, so that's all tucked away inside there. Um, and then what I've done to waterproof this is I built some, where are we? So this is another little 3D printed part and essentially it just screws to the deck through those holes that you saw a minute ago. So basically underneath it squashes a little o-ring which you can see goes around the shaft is held on by that thingy jiggity uh, let's turn it back on and there it goes so yeah basically this holds pins down a uh, o-ring onto the deck and this passes through it which should give us a good enough seal so there are a couple of them one for each servo popping out 
and I've also created something similar but very different over here. So basically this is a pivot point, this doesn't go through the surface of the hull but uh, it allows us to put a pivot on. Then if we look at that whole thing, there you go, I've built a whole linkage. So here's the arm that slides down on there, it keys onto that square section and uh, yeah we've got a, a sort of linkage rod here with a little, it's even got a little ball thing on it and everything, see? Pivots around there, goes all the way to the back, pivots onto, let's have a look at this from the side, pivots onto this as like I said, screws down, holds the rudder on and it also is keyed and it also slots into this bit of the rudder. So when you twisty twisty that, it turns the rudder and there is a link between that rudder and that rudder which does the same thing. So we can see that if we look at it like that and uh, we sort of twisty twisty the rudder, remove the servo, uh, the rudders move like that. And I don't know why, but the boat also wheels in and out. But uh, yeah, we'll ignore that. So that is where we are so far. The next thing I need to do is to create something similar to control the throttle. So we're going to have another sort of arm type thing on here, a rod going back and connecting to this thing here, which twisty twisties around as well, or it should, yeah, there you go. So that's the throttle moving. So I need to move that with the servo that's underneath here. And uh, I'll get to that next.